you gin lovers? Do you like gin? Well, you're in the right place because this is no-nonsense gin drinking with me, Bobby Freeman. Sponsored by GinandTonically.com for all your gin and tonically needs. Hey gin lovers, welcome back. I'm Bobby Freeman, as I just said a second ago. Now, as you can probably tell, I've made a few gin videos today and I'm feeling rather flamboyant. So let me, while I'm in the mood, introduce you, my friends, to this rather lovely, handsome looking young chap, which is Mason's Lavender Edition of their Yorkshire Tea, not Yorkshire Tea, that's what we did last week, Yorkshire Dry Gin which, as some of you know, is part of the set that's on top of my microwave over there, which my auntie bought me for my birthday. So, this one I'm very much looking forward to. I think we've only had one lavender gin before, and that was Tarquin's there. I believe that had lavender in it. Maybe some others do. I don't know, but that's the only one I can remember. So, my friends, let's get stuck in, shall we? But of course, thank you very much, as always, to my fantastic, wonderful, and very talented sponsors, ginandtonically.com, or gin und tonically, if you're in Germany. So, continuing the Yorkshire-themed accent as I've done in these previous videos, let's have a look, see what they say about on the website, shall we? Inspired by Yorkshire's lavender fields, Mason's were the first premium gin to introduce lavender as its lead flavour botanical. This unique innovation created a beautifully balanced gin, floral in style, and since launching in 2015, Mason's Lavender Edition gin has never looked back. So, no cork in these tiny bottles, as we know, let's get a whiff of him, shall we? So, I love pouring these tiny bottles. Ready? Here we go. Hey! <laughs> nice. Makes me feel like, uh, what do I feel like? Who's a cocktail waiter? Steve the Barman. Makes me feel like Steve the Barman. Cheers, Steve. So then, let's get a bit up the old snitcher, shall we? Here we go. Holy mother. Do you know what? I, every time I sniff one of these Mason's gins, it's oh, just heaven. How have I not heard of these before? They're absolutely extraordinary. It, as, you, as you'd expect, it's literally, there's not a great deal going on there. You've got a good gin smell, basically with a load of lavender in there, which I like, I like the smell of. So let's not uh, smell it too long because it does uh, realm into the realms of pretentiousness and even worse, boringness. So whack a little bit of the old tonic in there. Not too much as always. We don't like to have too much tonic these days. We like to just release those flavors, which is fast becoming my catchphrase. Anyway, enough babbling. My friends, Mason's Yorkshire Gin Lavender Edition. Cheers. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now then, as you'd expect, there's not going to be a great deal to write home about on this one because it's just a great big bundle of lavender whacked on top of the gin, right? Now, I'm going to try it with a little bit more tonics. I found that a slightly overpowering. There's a lot, a lot of lavender. I think they've gone full ball on the lavender. They must have bought, they must have had a load of excess lavender in Yorkshire because they've all whacked it all in the gin. So let's have another quick sniff of that here in a second. <laughs> hmm. It's nice. I'd say it's all, it's good. I don't, I don't think, I'm pretty confident Masons aren't going to make a bad gin. Okay. However, it's extremely floral. It's extremely floral. That flavor of lavender is massive, like gigantic, like a great big lavender elephant has literally just backed up and just sat itself down right on top of you. Again, another bizarre analogy, but I think it kind of makes sense because that, that's the only way I can convey to you how much just <laughs> the quantity of lavender that they've got in there. It's massive. And I wonder if... Uh, if it's slightly too much, slightly too much. But I'm I'm not going to criticise it. Uh, I'm not going to go overboard when I'm criticising this gym because I do, I have a real soft spot for Masons at the moment. But I'd say so far, I could happily drink it. But I think perhaps a lot of people would perhaps find that a little bit too much flavour and perhaps a tiny bit overpowering. However, if you like lavender and you like a floral gin, then I dare say you will bloody love this because it is literally, you know, in, in which case, a signal over the elephant, back him up and get him to whack his backside straight down because you are going to love that. Okay, I'm going to drop that elephant analogy now. But yeah, you get what I mean, I think. But it does say that this kind of a, it limes in there as well as to, to sort of bring the citrus side to it. Personally, I don't think... Don't, 
maybe a tiny bit, maybe a tiny bit, but I think maybe they need to be a little bit more balanced. Bring back the lavender a little tiny bit and just release the limes a little bit more. I think it could have been good, but again, maybe it might be different, a better with different mix, I don't know. Should we try it neat just to see? Mm -hmm. I don't like that. I'm not keen on it neat. I'm, I'm not a big neat gin drinker. Some of them are good. Some of them are good, but generally I like to release those flavors in the tonic, as you know. So my friends, that is definitely one to try. I think if you ever see it out there, definitely give it a go because it's good to experience these new things. If you don't try them, you just don't know. And I love the fact that Mason's are making these really bold, wonderful, unique flavored gins as well. So give that one a go. Let me know what you think. Personally for me, maybe slightly bit too much on the lavender. Anyway, what is it going to cost you? Well, it's going to cost you the same. I think they're the same across the board, these Masons. They're 34 of your finest English pounds. I think I said 35 last time just to round up, but for, to be precise, on their website, it's 34 pounds, which works out at about $42 or 37 euros. A little bit on the pricey side, but as I say, if you do want to experience that elephant, why am I obsessed with this elephant? Seriously. If you do want to experience something a little bit different, I think push the boat out a little bit, definitely, definitely worth it. And this, for some people, they're gonna, you're gonna absolutely love it. As I say, give it a go if you see it. Let me know in the comments of the section below what you think of it. So my friends, another Saturday wildcard gin video over. I'm really enjoying working my way through these masons. What we got, we got three left, three left. So this is kind of a little sort of, uh, sort of a side project we've got going on here at the moment with these uh, wildcard gins, but I like it. I think it's kind of fun and uh, I hope you do too. If, if you don't like it, then please let me know and uh, we shall uh, address the situation. However, if you do like it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, press the like button and head over to my Patreon page if you want to become a channel supporter. And not forgetting of course my wonderful sponsors ginandtonically.com who have made this video possible. Although technically I made it possible but they certainly helped a lot that's for sure. <laughs> but until next time guys thank you very much for watching stay safe look after yourselves and keep drinking the gin.